Well, in the world of artificial intelligence, we're able to do and create a lot of things. We're seeing a lot more AI-generated images online. Anyone can create something and upload it. Just for fun, we created this AI image of Donald Trump and Joe Biden. It's not bad, but you can tell it's kind of fake. But there are other in instances where it's a little bit harder to tell, like when people recreate voices. It's truly a great day, a tremendous day. We have just announced. Have you heard about this? We are giving free ice cream to all our supporters. Now, obviously, that is fake. We used a free AI generator to make Donald Trump sound like he was saying that. All we had to do was upload a clip from one of his speeches, and then AI did the rest. And we wanted to show you how realistic some of these voices can be, because in a world where more and more fake images and voiceovers are being created, it can be hard to discern what's real and what's not, especially in an election year. We spoke with an AI expert to learn some tips on how you can tell the difference yourself. There's a sinister side to the magical world of AI. It's called deepfake. It's content that manipulates someone's image or voice, oftentimes in a harmful way. <laughs> I would say it's, it's extremely scary. This is Terrence Soul, a professor and chair of the computer science department at the University of Idaho. He broke down how AI actually works. Essentially, it doesn't actually know anything. It crowdsources information that's already online and generates an answer to your question or an image that you want to create. But it's a double-edged sword. These systems learn from the material that's on the internet. As we get more and make more AI content on the internet, now these systems are not learning from real photographs anymore. They're learning from AI-generated content. And so you get this cycle of systems that are learning from generated content that wanders sort of further and further from reality. The good news is there's easy ways to tell if a picture or video has been manipulated. Terrence says, look at the hands. AI doesn't really understand that there should be four fingers and a thumb. It's just sort of imitating what it sees. And often what it's, the images it's learning from, some of the fingers are hidden or bent at funny angles. Teeth, hair, eyes, how they're holding objects. You'll notice they look bizarre or out of place. At this stage of the game, it's pretty easy to identify. But what about manipulated voices? What you often have to do in cases like that is just do some research. And that's good for images as well. So if you're thinking about you know, something that's related to the news, can you go and find the original source? thing you can do is to find the person who created the tr created the clip and then track it back that way always do your research